As the jet stream across the Atlantic speeds up in response to climate change, I think we will see eastbound flights speeding up and westbound flights slowing down. My name's Paul Williams and I'm a Professor of Atmospheric Science in the Department of Meteorology at the University of Reading. We have evidence that the wind patterns between 30 and 40,000 feet where planes cruise are changing because of climate change. In particular, the jet stream, which blows from west to east across the Atlantic Ocean, for example, is speeding up and that's going to make eastbound transatlantic flights faster, but it's also going to make westbound crossings slower because of the stronger headwinds. So I think we'll see more record-breakingly fast eastbound transatlantic flights in future, but also a lot more delayed arrivals into North America from Europe because of the stronger headwinds. There might already be some evidence that this is happening because there was a five-day period a couple of years ago when the jet stream was blowing very quickly at over 200 miles an hour. Um, and in fact, there were planes that took off from London Heathrow heading to New York with what should have been enough fuel to get all the way to New York. But they got partway across and realised that actually they didn't have enough fuel because the headwinds were so strong, they were making so little progress. They had to make an emergency stop in Maine to refuel before they could continue on to JFK. And in the same five day period, the British Airways flight from JFK Airport in New York to Heathrow in London took only five hours and 16 minutes because the tailwinds were so strong. And that's, that actually broke the record for a crossing, the non concord record. So these are the kind of things I think we'll see more of in future as climate change continues to speed up the jet stream.